Hey, what's going on, everyone? I know, it's been a while since I've done a cowboy video in quite some time. Um, I just never got around to making one. I just didn't know what to really do. In fact, before we played that first game, let's just I'm just going to be honest here. I was, if I was going to do one, I was going to, you know, give my honest assessment, you know, of the offense, specifically, you know, adding Brandon Cooks and Dak Prescott and this supposed Texas Coast offense, um, how the defense was going to perform from here on out. And on Dak Prescott, I was going to, I wasn't going to say anything, you know, you know, bad or even that great. I was going to be on wait and see mode with him, in all honesty. And after watching that monstrosity of a game, <laughs> I think I've seen enough, obviously. Yeah. Dak, you played like fucking trash. I'm sorry. You're not that guy. I I I can't defend you. I didn't I didn't exactly defend you last season in the post game against uh, the 49ers. You know, I was willing to think that some of it also had to do with Karen Moore, on, a.k.a. Kellen Moore, but he seems to be, you know, really picking it up lately. Um, this Texas Coast offense, more like Texas Trash Toast offense. <laughs> Jack, three interceptions, really? And the last interception was to the backup team. I'm so fucking... You know what? No, I'm not sorry. You are fucking worthless. Uh, well, I'm trying to think of a name. Uh, I'll just call you Trash Scott. Because <laughs> that's what you fucking played like. I know you probably won't get cut this year, but I think next year you should be gone. <laughs> I'm sorry. You simply don't have it. You play fucking scared so tenaciously. You claim that you're going to play with some pissed off emotion. Well, you didn't look pissed off enough as it is. The only pissed off expression is, of course, you turning the ball over. Oh, yeah. After that first interception, you fucking smiled. You don't deserve to be on this fucking team. And, uh, who I'm going to really rant on and call out, well, I'm, I'm going to just say this, Dak, you're simply not it. You don't have it. Um, you can't read fucking defenses worth a shit. You, um, you play scared. You just are one read quarterback. You're trash. You should be gone. You should be gone next year. But of course, you know, Jerry and Steven are probably practically going down on you and just blowing you and giving you all sorts of BJs or something. Unless if it's Jerry and Steven supposedly, uh, you know, being ex the exact opposite of what they mean. Oh, we're going to extend Prescott or he's the future. And then next thing you know, they'll cut his ass. That's what I would hope would happen. But Joan just seriously. Just stop fucking talking. Stop fucking hyping up shit. I'm tired of fucking hearing it. And, um, oh yeah, Mike McCarthy. <laughs> As a play caller, I don't know if you're any better than Moore. You go way too conservative. In the red zone, I don't know if we even made it to the fucking red zone. Um, last game against New England, I know we blew him out. But we were 1-4 in, in the red zone. That's 25 fucking percent. That's not going to cut it. That simply won't fucking do. You're, uh... You, originally, you were going to make 30% of this offense a little different, though 70% of it will remain the same. Well, I'm definitely seeing a good majority of that. I'm not really seeing a whole lot of quick passes like I did in the first several games that I watched. It's like what uh, Cowboys Corner said, dumb and dumber. <laughs> Although not as dumb as Jason Garrett, but I don't know if this is really any better. Honestly, don't know what to say. I, I would think that you'd be miles ahead by Jason Garrett, and maybe in a sense you are. I mean, at least you don't ice your own kicker. 
But my gosh, man, as a play caller <laughs> and a decision maker, like we were actually rolling in that on that first drive when we uh, received the ball in the second half. But I know it's fourth and four, but kicking a field goal, you just practically fucking gave up. You're a fucking coward, McCarthy. McCarthy. Same with you, uh, Joneses. You're both of you are a bunch of fucking cowards and frauds. I hate saying this, but this game pretty much exposed us as a fraud. I know I remember C. D. Lamb saying, uh, "This game will really tell us what we are, or I'll give you the answers. <laughs> uh, we'll answer the questions." But you know what? This game definitely answered the question. We're simply we simply can't be good teams, and it exposed us as a fraud. And not only that, embarrassed on national. TV. Um, you're thinking with the Cowboys, the 49ers, you know, two good offenses, supposedly, two great defenses as well, you know, prime time, and we look like complete dog shit out there. I would say this is definitely both um, McCarthy's and Prescott's worst game in quite some time. And even when we had the starters back, you know, with Tyron, uh, Tyler Smith, Biotish, S Martin, and Steele, we still had those guys, and they allowed, what, how many sacks? Like three or four? I guess four or five. I don't remember. Three of them were on Dak. And, oh, yeah, by the way, Dak, I don't know what it is. You just really love taking sacks. You just love doing that. Oh, I don't want to throw the ball away, so I'll just take the sack like a little fucking bitch and just roll over and play fucking dead. I'm fucking tired of this shit. Seriously. You know what? I know I know I shouldn't get angry, but I'm angry in, in my heart. But you know what? It's it's pointless just getting angry because I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. In the defense, Quinn, what the fuck kind of coverages were you fucking ca calling? The your whole fucking team on the very first drive you made it look fucking easy for Purdy and Purdy, you know, he's been a very efficient quarterback not turning the ball over we made him look like he was Joe Funk in Montana out there, especially on that first drive and penalties, One, Wilson and Curse, I don't know what it is Curse had a, an okay season up, at, up until this point Wilson, sadly, from what I've seen he's been playing like shit I'm sorry, he got, he got this contract this uh, three year twenty one million dollar contract and he's playing like fucking shit out there. If anything <laughs> that penalty by him, the I guess I think it was a face mask, that pretty much, you know, continued that whole drive. Your guys, Quinn, were really just unfucking disciplined. This was an ultimate dog shit performance on both sides, especially on the defense. Allowing 42 points, I think that was the most that the 49ers have scored this year. And I know losing digs didn't help, but that's no excuse for the whole defense playing like fucking shit out there. And offense not getting the points that it should have didn't help either, but still. An embarrassing blowout like this? <clears throat> I think this is going to derail the team. Oh, we'll bounce back against, against the Chargers. Oh, we'll... we'll We'll come again. We'll 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 light up the Chargers. We'll get the points. We'll beat them convincingly. No, I don't want to fucking hear that shit. I'm tired of hearing all this. Um, after seeing Cowboys corner video, like I said before, I can't defend Dak no more. I'm sorry. He simply can't beat good teams. One read quarterback, play scared, curls up like a fucking cowardly bitch, taking a sack and not throwing the ball away. McCarthy being a fucking cowardly dumb fuck of a play caller and head coach. Oh, just take the points. Well, you know what? You gotta show some fucking urgency and some balls. This is almost as bad as when Garrett would go into fucking shell, go conservative, you know, not have a sense of urgency and going for it, just taking the points or just punting, giving up. I'm tired of this fucking soft culture with the Cowboys. I'm, 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 I'm serious. I'm fucking tired of it. How many more fucking years, Jerry? I mean, for real. You just want to... You really seriously... Oh, yeah, it's all about selling the jerseys and all that other bullshit. How about... No. You get some fucking people that know how to coach. You actually get some people that know how to 
maximize and utilize players like they fucking should. And speaking of Quinn, oh yeah, you cut Cox, but you decide to move a fucking safety to a linebacker. Yeah. That's a great job, Quinn. Great job right there. Um, gosh, what else? I don't know. I don't know what to think going forward. Honestly, I don't know. If we win against the Chargers, you know, good. That's great to know. C come back to me when they actually beat a fucking good, you know, team. Because the Eagles are 5-0, and deservedly so. <laughs> they showed why they're, you know, undefeated. Yeah, they may allow points, but they know how to get the job done. They actually know how to finish out a game. Something that apparently we can't do against good teams, although we lost to the Cardinals that aren't that good. But just so much... Unbelievable, poor discipline on the defense and penalties. My goodness, my goodness, fucking penalties, 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 penalties. That always typically comes with the Cowboys mantra. Why should I be fucking surprised on that? I didn't mean for this video to be long, but my goodness. I don't know if I'm going to make any more Cowboy videos, you know, going forward. You know, because I don't know what to expect, honestly. I really don't. I mean, it could have been worse. We could have given that 70 points like the Broncos did, but you know what? Who knows? Maybe that would be a wake-up call to see how overrated this defense is and how we badly need to actually get players that can play the position, not move this guy thinking that he's going to be excelling in that area when he's never played linebacker before in his fucking life. I'm sorry for getting angry, but you know what? This just infuriates me beyond belief. The whole fucking culture, the whole fucking coddling players, always loving your guys, always blowing them, going down on them, hyping them up like they're the best thing since sliced bread. Not trading for a premium player that can really impact the offense or defense, that can really take it to a whole new level. We would make trades in the offseason, trading fifth round picks for players that are probably you know, on their way out or past their prime, like Stephon Gilmore and Brandon Cooks. Stephon Gilmore looked okay in a few games here and there, but in this game specifically, him and the whole secondary just looked confused and lost and allowed so many easy catches that Brock Purdy had four touchdown passes on this. Four. Make him looking like, uh, like Joe Montana and Aaron Rodgers combined. Just unbelievable. Speaking of which, Brandon Cooks, where the hell is he in this game, in this offense? Is he really going to be fitting in this offense? Or is this because, you know, with uh, Dak Prescott's, you know, limitations and tendencies, he doesn't really see the field a whole lot like he should. And CeeDee Lamb, for example, hmm, he was rather ineffective in this game, and I can't remember how many receptions he had. He had maybe one or two catches, if he, if he was even lucky. And it was probably due to the fact that, you know, he was double-covered, or due to Dak's limitations and not really seeing him and just plain scared like he usually does. What a shocker there, right? You know what? At this point, you might as well you know, put in Cooper Rush, but you know what? See what you have with Trey Lance. You traded a fourth-round pick for him. Why don't you see what you have with him? Because, you know, if Dak Prescott's going to be Mr. Turnover Machine and just plain fucking scared like he usually does, take a chance on, on, on Trey. See what he can do with this offense. See, you know, with him actually having a decent line and good receivers that we supposedly have, you know, why not? Tank if you have to. And at best, you know, if he doesn't win enough games and he, you know, wins a few, loses a few, but he's able to see the field better or if he has an actual, you know, arm that can, you know, that can actually throw the ball effectively, why not? At worst, he'd be a decent backup and maybe you'll tank for a quarterback like, let's say, Caleb Williams or... Drake May or any of those uh, quarterbacks that are potentially first rounders. <sighs> I'm trying to think of another player that messed up, a player that really didn't, didn't show a chance to be effective. Gallup didn't have that great of a game. It shows that he can't get separation. A good majority of the receivers can't seem to get separation or when they're double covered, you know, the quarterback, our quarterback can't really seem to figure out what to do and just, he goes belly up and can't seem to, 
have any confidence in himself to deliver the throws that he's supposed to make. So yeah. You know what, I should probably end it here, but um, this whole fucking Cowboys organization, players and the coach staff should apologize for this embarrassment of a performance. But I feel like this team, or this whole, this loss in general, uh, <laughs> might put a dagger in the season for good. Yeah, we might win a few games here and there, but that's not going to convince me of anything. Come to me when the Cowboys can beat a team, a good team, convincingly. Anywho, I think it's going to do it for me, and I guess you can say go Cowboys. But not the fucking Joneses and the poor decisions and the and the coaching staff that they hired. It makes you hard to really root for them. So, alrighty, y'all have a good night. Take it easy. Bye bye.